What's up guys, it's who's 57 here. We are back on Air Mech Arena on the Xbox One and today I will be showing you a strategy that you can use to farm wins. So there's three pieces that you're gonna absolutely need. You're gonna need the Pilot, Ultimate Samson, and you're gonna need Ultimate Fuel, and then you're gonna need one unit, at least for this strategy, and that's going to be the Ultimate Bucky. So uh, this strategy is going to heavily rely on that. Now, you can't use ultimates in PvP. You can use them in offline, and you can use them in uh, private matches, co-op matches, and uh, solo matches. So you can use them for that. So that's what the strategy video is going to be for. Uh, right now I'm playing with just a second random person. You can play with friends or by yourself. It doesn't really matter. As far as air mechs, it doesn't really matter what air mech. Personal preference, you could say, on their air mech. Uh, for me, I will actually be using the Paladin, but uh, you could use whatever you want. The Paladin just is a buff debuff air mech, and uh, it's got more carry capacity than the other air mechs. As far as the rest of the units, you can kind of take what you want. I also have ultimate money makers, but uh, you could use tanks. Like I have the armadillo and the boxer. I also have ultimate shooters. You can really use whatever you want there. And uh, of course, it goes better if you're playing with friends because, you know, they'll both ready up at the same time. But you can also use this strategy for playing solo matches as well now depending upon the map that you get some are better than others in this case uh, i'm going to take a couple bot spawners because this map is one that's a little bit more time consuming since there's more maps and then uh, just buy two upgrades for the paladin and the only other thing we're going to do is build ultimate buckies now because of the fact that we have ultimate samson and you have ultimate fuel the build speed is ridiculously fast for the ultimate Bucky and you can also build just literally a shit ton of them because with ultimate fuel as you can see I'm starting I've already built a ton of units and I still have 60,000 credits left uh, now what you're gonna want to do is just drop all of your units from your main base and order them to attack the enemy base don't even bother with outposts. That's why I put those uh, creepers, the bot spawners, and I bought the upgrade for increase how fast creeps are spawned because they will naturally take care of the actual uh, enemy little outposts. Now, the thing that you want if you're playing with the paladin is to get to level two, buy a guardian, and buy the offensive aura. And then if you want, you can build some armor or other units. Uh, this map is a little bit of a bigger map, so I'm going to go ahead and leave those few tanks here. They're armadillos. They're a light tank. They're not, you know, very high damage. Well, they're decent damage, actually. They're 100 DPS or damage per second versus ground, but they have uh, very thin armor, so keep that in mind. I'm just going to set a couple of those down. Activate the offensive ore for my paladin and then go to where all of my ultimate buckies are right here at the enemy base. And the reason why you want to build the rest of your force at the beginning at your base is you actually want that travel time for the units to regroup at the enemy base. Now if you're playing with a second player that's uh, following the same strategy, he'll help you out. Also, another thing that's really good about the Paladin is, as you can see, there's these little gaddy uh, minigun turrets that do very high damage versus ground units. And as the Paladin, you can absorb a ton of frontal damage. So you actually want to position yourself in between the enemy defenses and your units. If you do that, of course, the more units that you have, the faster you'll take down the enemy base. But as you can see, we're literally just ripping through the enemy base's health. The game's only at not even a minute and 30 seconds yet. And uh, at the moment, I only have my five armadillos and seven or eight, seven now. 
ultimate Bucky's firing. Now, the other thing that's nice with the ultimate Bucky is when it's destroyed, there's a pretty high chance that it'll spawn a SAM infantry. And that infantry will naturally go, and the first priority for them is to take over the enemy outposts. So that's really kind of helpful since uh, basically as the Buckies die, they spawn infantry, and that infantry will help take over the enemy outposts. Do watch your health because running the combination of parts that I am running, if your air mech is destroyed, you will not be rebuilt. So you basically have one life and that's it. Uh, and that's very simple to do. It was just uh, not even two minutes and as you can see we won. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, make sure you post a comment. Otherwise go ahead and smash the like button. I will do other videos on other strategies on uh, infantry and other units that you can use to win very quickly if you don't have the money to buy ultimates. So uh, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and uh, keep an eye out for future content. Thanks for watching.